Okay, number four, octane and nonane are liquids which are components of gasoline. Uh, their vapor pressures at 25 degrees Celsius are 13.9 torrs and 4.7 torrs respectively. So the 13.9 is for the octane, nonane is the 4.7. Um, what is the vapor pressure of the mixture consisting of one mole of each of these compounds? Now, it turns out the math on this is not all that challenging. Uh, what typically throws everybody off is that word right there, the mixture. How do you calculate it for a mixture? All right, um, turns out it's not that bad, mainly because of how gases behave. So what we're going to do is actually cal calculate the new vapor pressure. So we need to calculate the change of vapor pressure for the octane, and we're going to get the same type of calculation for the nonane. Now, to get the uh, vapor pressure for each of these, you're using the mole fraction and the standard vapor pressure, or the uh, vapor pressure of the pure substance. And the only thing I need to actually specify, because we're not using the same values, obviously, um, this one over here needs to be the uh, mole fraction of the nonane using the standard vapor pressure of the octane. And this one's the opposite. Since we're looking for the standard vapor, the change of vapor pressure of nonane, you want to use the standard vapor pressure of the nonane. Therefore, you want the mole fraction of the other component. All right, fortunately in this one, both of these have the exact same mole fraction. And that's mainly because, uh, like for instance, the mole fraction of nonane says we have one mole of each. So that means you have one mole of nonane over one mole plus one mole. One mole of nonane over one mole of nonane and one mole of octane. And that's what you're going to get over here. So both these, I'm just going to end up putting one over two for their mole fractions. And then over here for the octane, what I'm going to multiply this by is the vapor pressure of the octane, which is 13.9 torrs. This one I'm going to end up multiplying it by the vapor pressure of the nonane, which is 4.7 torrs. Now, we're not doing anything necessarily with these values because it turns out what we're going to solve for here is how much it changes, the vapor pressure that is. So when I first calculate this um, 0.5 times 13.9, I just get 6.95, which is how much the um, uh, octane, how much the octane's vapor pressure dropped. So I am going to write that down because I, I did say delta VP. So it, it, it is this uh, 6.95. But what I'd really like on this instead is the actual new vapor pressure of just the octane, which I'm going to get by taking the standard vapor pressure of the octane and subtracting that. It's also 6.95. That's what you'd get if you were to take the 13.9 minus the 6.95. All right, I'm going to do the same thing over here with the no name. And half of... 4.7, oops, not 4 comma 7, oh, wrong keys, is, excuse me, 2.35, I only have two significant figures here, so 2.4 is what I'll go with, which means that the new uh, vapor pressure of no name is 2.4. And now we got to take care of that mixture words because it wants to know what the vapor pressure is of that mixture. These behave just like any other gases. We can actually just flat out add those together. So I'm going to take my 2.5 and add the 6.95 and I get a overall vapor pressure of 9.3 and I would just have two decimal place, or would, would only have the one decimal place because the 2.4. So the overall vapor pressure is 9.3 torrs.